Now, normally, the resting potential is uh, minus 90. So we can see that the difference for uh, potassium here is not that big. It's just 5 units, 5 millivolts. And in order to keep that difference, we already have along all the cell membrane, we have these channels which are called potassium leakage channel and all the time we have potassium leaking outside the cell and so this action is keeping the um, flowing of potassium in an equilibrium and this is why the simplicity of this action is actually why the potassium is a very very critical ion to the resting membrane potential because any slight increase or decrease on any sides of the cell membrane would affect this polarity for example if uh, we have an increase of potassium here on this side this means that the potassium is not going to need to flow outside because there is a sufficiency of potassium here. So if this um, side of the cell has enough potassium, so more potassium would be accumulating inside and so the charge here would change from um, negative to positive. And if this one changed to positive, this one would be negative because last time uh, we said that the charge on the extracellular side is relative because technically it's the ground, it's zero. So if this one becomes positive, this on the other hand will be negative. And uh, we call this a uh, hyper, uh, we call this a depolarization. A depolarization, so the membrane becomes active. On the other hand, if um, the potassium uh, flows a lot from inside to outside, the negative charge here would increase more and more and more and the membrane would be hyper excitable. We call this hyper polarization. Hyper polarization. So this is for um, potassium. Now on the other hand, for sodium, sodium is not uh, very uh, critical for the resting membrane potential as potassium. And the efflux or the influx of sodium is regulated by a pump, which is called the sodium-potassium pump. What this pump does is that it pumps three sodium ions outside the cell and two uh, potassium ions inside the cell and uses one ATP molecule throughout this action. And during this action we can have some leakage of sodium inside the cell. But you see, for this action, in order to regulate this very, very big difference from the uh, normal resting potential, we can see a difference of 135 millivolts. And in order to keep this big difference, we should use a pump that actually uses energy. And for sodium, sodium can be effective in the action of um, performing depolarization because when there is an influx of sodium inside the cell, the intracellular side will become more positive. And as we mentioned, if this becomes positive, the other side will be negative and the membrane will be active or depolarized. So 
Uh, that was the resting membrane potential. And these are the two ions that uh, affect this potential uh, very uh, much. We also have calcium, but uh, these are the, the two uh, main ions in uh, most of the cells. So I hope that was clear. Next time we're going to talk about the action potential. So until then, I thank you for watching and see you.